Hey guys, welcome back. It's time. It's that time again where we take the three grading companies that most people prefer and we we're going to we're going to dunk on them. We're going to show some uh, recent mishaps, some recent garbage that they pumped out. Uh no, we didn't get the Giratina from PSA that's upside down. That was in a previous video. I should have saved it for this, but I didn't. But here we have it. I want you guys to let me know down below who messed up the worst. I also have some other little tidbits, some other news and happenings in the Pokemon community that probably don't can't justify their own video. So we're going to take a look at those at the end. So stay tuned for that. First up, um, yes, we don't we um, this one's deactivated already. Uh, PSA caught wind of the fact that uh, they graded this bad boy. And um, my apologies again for the absolutely terrible screenshot. I probably have a better one somewhere. I can't remember. There's a few people that sent this to me. Uh, thank you to those people. Thank you to everyone that sends me this stuff. I forget who did because it's been a little while, but thank you regardless. Uh, we'll get a little closer look at this bad boy here. Uh, this is an Ancient Mew Pokemon 2000 movie, uh, th and it got a 10. So I don't know what, what exactly the excuse was here, uh, but again, one of many examples that we've seen that indicates that these companies do not have a quality control step, let alone the multiple quality control steps that they claim to have. So not only should this have not passed by the first person if they were taking their time, if they were pay, paying attention to what they were doing, if if it was a professional, as they all like to uh, you know, say they hire, they, they all hire professionals, professional graders, I guess professional if it's as long as it's your place of employment you're professionally doing it so um, i don't know experts experts I, th I think they say experts at some points too not experts um there's no flipping way anyone saw this a second time uh even from across the room this has more creases than your grandmother's under 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 carriage we'll, we'll leave it at that we'll keep it pg-13 for this video uh, so that uh, so that no one gets too offended, too worked up. Uh, but regardless, again, this is just like another simple example of there's no way anyone looks at this card twice. It's one person, probably 30 seconds or less, getting paid very little dollars uh, to do so, getting very doing so many of these per day. So I think that the biggest thing here that we're seeing uh, that I want to highlight in these videos is the fact that uh, not only are they not spending enough time on your stuff. Uh, but there's also a lot of like stuff in the process that should be this should be easily streamlined and prevented if even uh, even part of what their process that they they claim to do uh, is even performed shouldn't pass one person shouldn't pass another all right next one now Beckett what are you doing Beckett uh, this one was sent to me by Sam Chibby he's in the discord he's been on the channel for live openings uh, before uh, this is uh, this is quite the uh, the predicament here. So no, I get it. It's not Pokemon Rattle. What are you doing? Why why are you showing us why are you showing us all the weeb the weeb weeaboo cards? We don't care about those. The the grading company can do whatever they want with those. So we got a little weird mishap here where um, this is showing that it is a 2022 Sword and Shield Silver Tempest Hisuian Arcanine V Ultra Rare Full Art. Um, this is not that, uh, and also it got a it got a black label without without having tens in the subgrades so clearly i don't know if this was a mess up because sam did not submit a hasuian arcanine v ur so this is somebody else's order somebody else's label that got mixed up with this label it's like a hybrid of labels uh because it got the black label which uh, we're gonna take a look here in a second but I don't understand how there can be so much overlap or so many issues with people with cards being swapped the wrong cards being sent to people and or the wrong labels being with the wrong stuff when it's a separate order it should be very separate uh, th free pointers for all the grading companies out there do not have your minimum wage grader working on multiple submissions at the same time do not don't even don't even make it a make sure it's not even a possibility that they get these mixed up that they send cards to the wrong person they put the wrong address they put the wrong label on the wrong card that isn't even part of the submission and just check the cards go through if you if if somebody's going through if there's a quality control again on the first one with the mew if someone saw that a second time they're going to see the creases slumped all over it if they see this one they're going to see the fact that what the fuck this is a black label without tens how the hell does that happen we should probably look into it and see what went wrong. But then they got to fix two orders. So they got to find out where 
uh, where the, the, the Arcanine is. They got to go into the Arcanine order to make sure that one's not messed up. I don't know if that one's messed up as well. If anyone owns uh, the Hisuian Arcanine uh, that has the wrong messed up label on it, please reach out to me. I'd love to see what happened with that one or if they just messed up this one with the with the label error. So, we, of course, we got to we gotta bring up the, the old pop report here. Uh, we can see here that the this is the only Weiss Schwartz Moshuko Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Uh, and it, it should have all tens on it, according to the, the pop report here. Uh, so it's the label that's that's messed up. So, again, this sucks. Uh, this sucks for anyone that, uh, that gets something like this back. Yes, it's awesome. You got a black label, but congratulations. You get to deal with BGS customer support, which is basically non-existent. And it's going to take several months for you to uh, get a response, probably get authorization to send it back in. It's going to take them a few months to crack this baby out. Hopefully they don't damage it in the process. Hopefully it doesn't get lost on the way back to them or from them to you again, once again. Lots of shipping involved for something that should have been prevented from the beginning. But uh, but yeah, here you have it. So uh, the, here's what the... So I guess they entered the information and printed off onto the wrong label. I don't know. It I, It's hard to say. And again, we don't know the exact process. Um, hopefully someone at the grading companies can, can answer this. Why? Like, are, are they sharing equipment? Are they using the same label printer as somebody else? Is that how like this got messed up? Or was it like the same grader that did like a previous order that had this still entered in onto the computer had one or the other still entered in onto the computer and then that transferred over. I don't, I, the, 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 it should be pretty much foolproof. The only thing, and, and that's what it comes down to. Like even, even at that point, it should come down to, it, there shouldn't be like evidence left behind that you, you royally fucked up. He, there's even leeway. There's leeway in here where you can be like, yeah, you know what? This doesn't really look like a nine. It should probably be an eight. Uh, but, uh, but you know what? It's, uh, grading is subjective, but this is just, sub, this is just, this is straight fuck up and showing that there's. Uh, the the utmost incompetency from top to bottom. All right, here we go. We had a little Logan from Discord post this in. He sent these into CGC, uh, I guess because they are um, they're miscuts here. You can see here the left hand side of these bad boys is extremely juicy, is extremely thick. Um, and uh, what what do you think? What do you think could possibly go wrong with this? Right. Well, um, he didn't get back the right cards, so. Uh, the Lugia somehow turned into an alt art Lugia. Uh, it still has the error label. So this is another one of those examples where I'm saying, why, why, why are you working on multiple submissions? He didn't submit this Lugia. Why are you, why are you, why are you, why do you have multiple submissions open on your fucking desk? Sorry, it's now PG 14. Why, why do you have multiple open on your desk? Why does anyone need to be working on multiple submissions at the same time and allow the possibility of something like this happening? It should just be like, no, plain desk, no other cards on the desk. Do the, do the submission. You have all your own equipment. I know that's probably too expensive. They've got to share fucking label makers or whatever the shit they're doing uh, to, to cut down on cost. And then you end up sending cards to the wrong people. You end up here. That, like, And again, this is another one of those things. Again, these videos purely showing the fact time and time again there's no fucking QC step. There's no QC step. I don't believe it. Not for a second. In my opinion, there is no fucking QC step. There's no one looking at this shit the second time. It's got the 185. It's got the wrong number on it, which, okay, maybe someone misses that. But again, it's, and then you're looking for an error. Where the fuck is the error on this, on this Lugia? It isn't. It's an alt art Lugia. It's the wrong Lugia. There's like, spot the difference. Holy fuck, grading companies. Please, try a little bit harder, you fucking useless motherfuckers. All right, we ruined the video. is ruined. We got bad words all in it. All right, uh, next up, we had Yogurt Balls 3005 who made an account, who made a Reddit post uh, about how uh, they work at a grading company and they were going to do an Ask Me Anything, um, but then they deleted their account. I, uh, I sent them a DM uh, asking if they would like to uh, chat with me, make a video. It'd be cool if anyone, again, open invitation to anyone that works at one of the uh, the grading companies, uh, preferably the uh, you know PSA, BGS, or CGC. Uh, if you'd like, we can set you up with a voice changer, uh, and uh, we can we can go through some details. I'd like to know how uh, how crammed you are, how how overworked you are, how little attention to detail there is, how little training there is, and how there there. I would love to know how there isn't a QC step. Or if the person that's doing the QC step is just 
pretending to do the the QC step. That's the only the, the, that's the only way. And again, like two of these examples that were looked at today were people that were like just within the circle, within within spitting distance. How? So this is happening way more than than even we're showing on the channel here. Uh, but again, I I don't know. It's it, yes, mistakes can happen, but this is like an all the time and such an obvious like like the dick cat that we've seen before. If you guys haven't watched the previous videos on this, uh, then uh, by all means, I'll, I'll link those down below, uh, and I'll probably put them on the on the end screen so that you can you can take a look. But maybe these are I don't know if these are worse or better. But again, I want to I want to know who messed up the worst in this video: PSA, CGC, or BGS. You guys, let me know who you're the most disappointed in. All right, now, all right, on a little bit of a lighter note, we have this very cool Gengar that popped up. Uh, the misprint, uh, got a misprint of all group. Christian Jones posted this bad boy. Uh, so I don't know if this is like tape or whatever to uh, to hold like the foil uh, together, foil rolls or foil whatever. Uh, but it was on there during the printing process. So this is pretty cool. This reminds me of the... Uh, uh, the cigar Hitmonlee. No, not the stained one. I'm talking about the one that had like the, um, it had foil in underneath it with some words on it. It was initially thought that it was a cigar company, but it was actually the company that made the, the foil itself. Uh, so this is probably something very similar to that. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say they hit the jackpot on this one. I don't, I'm going to assume this was also from one of the recent Costco restocks of the, the 120 pack. Uh, of the the old Halloween stuff, not the the new stuff that's coming out is in a green bag. Um, they now have 120 pack. I don't know why. Why do they have it this early? Is it almost? Is it Halloween yet? Is it getting that close? Uh, regardless, I'm excited for the new one. We'll probably do a, a Jaeger bomb uh, challenge. Maybe we'll do it live this time. Uh, and if you haven't seen the Jaeger bomb challenge that I did with the the old packs, you, you probably want to see that. I got a little bit uh, toasty. Here's some better pictures of the Gengar. Yeah, you hit the uh, you hit the mother load. I don't know how much this would be worth, but there are a lot of Gengar fans, and this is this is. I'm not an error collector. I'm not an error enthusiast. I don't. Again, most of it I don't really care for. Uh, but this is this is a banger. This is I've, uh, that's a banger if I've ever seen it, and a good Pokemon for it to happen on, um, and something that would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to uh, to reproduce. Uh, so you have that. All right, Obsidian Flames. We got to talk about Obsidian Flames because it, what a ridiculous, absolute. Everyone is just like, what the hell is Obsidian Flames? One fifty one to the moon. I'm. I want Japanese one fifty one. I want it, even if it's overpriced, even if it's got a very good chance of being resealed, even if it's got a good, very good chance of the hit being removed, even if it's you know loose packs uh, that my grandmother uh, weighed with her with her butt cheeks. Uh, Regardless, I think this set is going to be awesome. Um, there's a lot of people that are a little bit, they're a little, they're a little worried because a lot of the um, the EXs within the set, they are uh, from Japanese decks, a series of decks that were put out in Japan. Uh, so they're like, oh yeah, but the deck, the deck EXs are not that great. They're not that playable. I don't think it matters. I mean, Paldea, how many, how many EXs were really that playable from the last couple sets that we've seen? Um, not many. Paldea especially. No, I get it. There's exceptions. There's some that you can use. You can you can build decks with, um, but uh, at the same time, I don't I don't think that matters all that much. Uh, collectors don't really care. The player base, yes, it's going to affect values while that stuff is in a standard uh, because people are going to be building decks. They're going to be buying up whatever's the most playable of playable stuff. We got to remember that the Charizard is looking looking pretty juicy, pretty playable in this set, and it's a Charizard set. The rest of the contents, for collector reasons, I think there's an awesome assortment of Pokemon in here. Again, I guess I guess I'm kind of getting used to the ring pop mechanic that is the uh, the crowns on top of the Pokemon's head. We got a friggin' Mawile pre-release promo. What's wrong with that? We got some cute artwork. We got some awesome artwork. You gotta love the Yukamori. We got the Yukamori Clefairy. Very cute. Very awesome. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Just it's I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a good set. And then we had this recently, uh, the Charizard EX, and everyone was losing their absolute mind. Um, I, I think everyone in existence ever had been posting about this. We're but we're back on it. So we're off we're off of Obsidian Flames. We don't give a shit. 
it's a Charizard set, but you know what? No one cares about this Charizard set because the Charizard isn't an alt art. It's not a. It's not an SAR. It's not an SIR. It w depending on whether you're English or Japanese collecting, um, but uh, this bad boy comes out and all of a sudden everyone's straight back on to the the, the flamey the flamey lizard train. Um, I don't know. It, I really, I really, really hope. Uh, that we still get this bad boy. I think we're going to get this bad boy. I think this is a real leak. Um, and I don't say that often. Because a lot of times leaks. You know. It's just like a sketchiest picture of all time. No this isn't the cleanest picture ever. They got the they got the set number right. So I think this is the same Charizard. Um, as a, this bad boy here. They got the attacks right. They got the Charizard right. They got the set number right. They got the rarity right. It, there's a lot going right with this. Yes, it's French, uh, but and again, I, th I think this is a real deal. And you know what? I'm more excited for this Charizard because I, I think this might be my new favorite Charizard because it absolutely pisses people off. It is the shit disturber Charizard of all time. It is the Jolly Rancher King. The, the Jolly Rancher King Charizard, um, and uh, you bet your bottom dollar. I think I'm gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna bump it up a notch. We're going we're going hardcore to the extreme. Uh, on the next opening, we're gonna do four cases of Obsidian Flames on release day. That's the plan, at least. Uh, we'll do a live stream. Make sure you guys are in there for that. We're gonna try to complete the set again. I don't think I think the IRs are gonna be reduced for this one, so I think we have a good chance. We'll either open until we run out of cards, or we'll open until uh, we complete the set. So, looking forward to that. If you guys haven't already, we got pre-orders up on PSAPikachu.com. If you're from the United States, I know a lot of you guys that are watching the channel are from the U.S. You can head on over to PSAPikachu.com. He's got booster boxes on here uh, for $115. 100, $114.99 if you want to. If you want to play that penny discount game, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, there's still there's still a good chunk left here, but uh, just good idea to grab some before uh, release. I think it's it sounds like from the from what I've seen, the game stores are, are getting a little bit less than they want or that they're asking for, which has kind of been the case. There were sure, there's going to be more after release, though. I'm sure there'll be another wave or something like that. You're going to find these packs as well. If if you're opening, you don't have to really worry about it. Um, if because future waves will will have other products that'll have obsidian flames and stuff in them all your promo boxes and that kind of stuff uh you, you can be pretty certain that you'll be able to find uh packs from all these sets same with paldea same with whatever um I, if you are if you're just absolutely determined to get booster boxes i would say probably just grab them on release uh, because pre re reprints reprints have either not existed for booster boxes or they've been so small that y y you probably would have been better off just grabbing them to begin with because then even the stores, you know, if they get a couple cases, if they get a case or something like that, uh, it's not common that they're going to bring it all the way back down to the, the price that it was when it first came out. Um, PSA Pikachu did get, uh, what was it, Lost Origin, Astral, Silver? I forget which sets. Some of the recent sets got very small booster box reprints. Uh, but again, by that point, you were paying more for them. If you're if you're if you're the sealed collector type, if you want to put aside any amount of booster boxes, I would say just grab them on release. Be done with it. Forget about it. Set it and forget it. We're not in 2021 here. The price of booster boxes is not supposed to triple overnight in a month or whatever. It, it's it's more of a if you want to sit on it for five or ten years. Maybe it does something. Maybe it does something better. Maybe it says yeah. Maybe it kind of trickles up. Uh, but if you if you buy it at a decent price, the odds are you're not really you're not really losing money if if very much. Sometimes you got the stuff like uh, we got battle styles here. Um, but again, e even some of these boxes, um, this is kind of uh, kind of a you know they'll probably start creeping up over time slowly. Slowly, guys. Don't expect friggin' free tendies to the moon. That's not the world we live in anymore. If you're in Canada, you can go to dosecards.ca. Uh, and on there, you can use code RATTLE5 for 5% off. I think they have some bundles and stuff like that that won't let you use the code. Uh, but uh, feel free to leave in the comments section or the notes. Um, with both of these stores, both of them ship very well. Packaging, awesome to the sawsome. You might pay a couple extra bucks for your products. 
Uh, but PSA Pikachu and Doze both pack your stuff very well. If you're buying something and you want a case of it, put it in your order notes uh, and uh, and or um, you can message them and, and just tell them like, hey, I want I want to make sure it's a sealed case of Obsidian booster boxes or, or whatever. Uh, and I'm sure they'll do their best to accommodate. That's pretty much it. That's all I got for you today, guys. Hope this was a, a, an enjoyable one, a quick one. An entertaining one. We were all over the place a little bit, but uh, I still think it's um, it's it's kind of it's entertaining. It's nice. To switch it up a little bit. We'll get off the uh, the Pokemon criminals that we've been on the majority of the week. Uh, I think in tomorrow maybe we'll do like a really long live stream. Uh, maybe a ton of Pokemon trading card game live as long as it's up and functioning, um, and as long as everything goes according to plan. Get some stuff done today. Tomorrow, hang out with you guys in the live chat. Maybe give some people a chance to, to jump in and hang out in the live uh, that aren't usually able to since most, most of them have been at night. So that's it. That's all. Have a good one, guys. Take care of each other. Join the Discord, and I will see you next time.